In this presentation, we will understand special program number 10, prime number. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The topic of this presentation is special program, check for prime number. We are now interested in writing the program to check for prime number. We first need to understand the problem statement properly and then we will write the program for the same. So, let's look at the problem statement first. Write a program to check whether a given number is prime or not. We are interested in writing a program to check whether a given number which is entered by the user is prime or not. Now, what is the meaning of a prime number? Let's first understand this before writing the program. A prime number is a natural number greater than 1 that has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. First of all, a prime number is a natural number. So, one thing is clear that it is a positive number which is greater than 1. This means that it starts from 2 and that has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. Prime number is not divisible by any other number except 1 and itself. The examples are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and so on. These are all prime numbers. Let's say that we want to check whether 7 is prime or not. We can see this that 7 is prime because 7 is not divisible by any other number except 1 and 7. Similarly, 13 is also a prime number because 13 is not divisible by any other number except 1 and itself. That is 13. I hope it is clear what is a prime number. And now we are ready to write a program to check whether a given number that is entered by the user is prime or not. So let's write the program now. First, we need to ask the user to enter an integer. So for this purpose, we need to use the input method. We need this line of code num equal to int input enter an integer. With the help of input method, we will ask the user to enter an integer. User will provide the integer. We will receive the string representation of the integer from this input method and eventually that will be provided to int method. Int method will convert that to integer and eventually num variable will point to that integer. So, we now know that after execution of this line, num variable will point to some integer entered by the user. Now, what is the next step after this? After this, we need to check whether the number entered by the user is greater than 1 or not. If it is the case that the number entered by the user is less than or equal to 1, then we will simply print this message that the number that is entered by the user is not a prime number. Because it is the first requirement that needs to be satisfied. If the number is not greater than 1, then it is not a prime number. So, we need to check this. If num is less than or equal to 1, then simply print num is not prime. Here we are using the f string to embed this variable num. So, at runtime, this num will be replaced by the number entered by the user. So, if it is let's say minus 1, then we will get this message minus 1 is not prime. I hope this idea is clear. Now, what is the next step after this? We need to check if the number is greater than 1, then only we must proceed. So, we need this elif statement, elif num greater than 1. So, if number is greater than 1, then we can continue and check whether this number is prime number or not. So, now let's write the code to check whether this number which is entered by the user is prime or not. And it is very simple to do. We need to divide this number by numbers starting from 2 and that goes up to num minus 1. If let's say the user has entered 10, then we need to divide this number by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We need to stop at 9 because we know that every number is divisible by itself and 1. Therefore, we must not divide the number by itself and 1 in order to check whether that number is prime or not. So, 
we need to divide the number by numbers starting from 2 and that goes up to that number minus 1. I hope this idea is clear. And this can easily be done with the help of for loop. We need this for statement for i in range 2 comma num. To this range function we are passing 2 and num. We know that this range function will return values starting from 2 and that goes up to num minus 1. And that's what we want. So this means that this i is representing the divisor of this number one at a time. So first this i will receive 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8, then 9 if num is equal to 10. I hope this idea is clear. Now within this for statement, we need to check if this number is divisible by i. If it is the case that this number is divisible by i, then we are sure about this that the number entered by the user is not prime. Because if it is the case that even a single number in this range divides the number entered by the user, then it is clear that the number entered by the user is not a prime number. So we need to check this. If num mod i is equal to 0, in other words, we are checking here that if the number entered by the user is divisible by i, then we need to print this statement, num is not prime. And we also need to print this statement, i is the factor of num. To make it clear to the user that number is divisible by i. Now after this, we need this break statement because we immediately want to break this loop after knowing this that i is the factor of num. We do not need to check for other values of i. Hence, we need to stop immediately with the help of this break statement. After execution of this for loop, if this for loop terminates normally, then in that case, we need to print number entered by the user is a prime number. So we need this else block and within this else block, we need this print statement num is prime. Now we know that if there is a normal termination, if the break keyword is not encountered, then this statement will be executed. Because if no number within this range divides this number which is entered by the user, then it is clear that we will have the normal termination at the end and the else block will be executed which means that the number entered by the user is a prime number. If no number within this range can divide this number which is entered by the user, then it is clear that this number is a prime number and hence the else block needs to be executed. I hope this program is clear. If it is somehow unclear, then I'll make it clear by executing this program line by line. So let's start from the line number one. Num equal to int input enter an integer. We know that the output at this point that we will get is enter an integer. Let's say the user has entered 35. Then in that case, we know that num variable must point to this object with value 35. Now after this, we need to check this. If num is less than or equal to 1, then print num is not prime. Here we need to check this if number is less than or equal to 1 or not. Here we know that num is 35, 35 is not less than or equal to 1. Therefore, this condition is not satisfied. Hence, we need to move to this line and check this condition. Is it the case that num is greater than 1? Yes, num is greater than 1. Here we can observe that the value is 35 and 35 is greater than 1. So, we need to continue and evaluate this statement for i in range 2 comma num. Here we know that num is 35, so we will get values starting from 2 up to 34 from this range function. So this variable i will receive values starting from 2 and that goes up to 34. So 34 is the last value which will be received by this variable i. Now we know that at this point, i is 2, so let's put 2 here. So now we can say that i is the variable pointing to this object with value 2. Now after this, we need to execute this statement. Is it the case that num mod i equal to 0? 
In other words, we can say that is it true that 35 is divisible by 2? 35 is not divisible by 2, therefore, this condition becomes false. Hence, we need to come back here and now we will receive 3 here. Now, let's check this condition once again. Is it the case that 35 is divisible by 3? No. Therefore, this condition becomes false. Hence, we need to come back here. This time, i is 4. Now, we need to check this. Is it the case that 35 is divisible by 4? No. Therefore, this condition is false. Hence, we need to come back here. This time, i is 5. And now, we need to check. Is it the case that 35 is divisible by 5? 35 is divisible by 5. Therefore, we need to execute this statement. This means that num is not prime will be printed on the screen. Hence, we will get this output. 35 is not prime. Eventually, at runtime, this num will be replaced by the value 35. That is why we are seeing 35 here. So, 35 is not prime is printed on the screen. After this, we need to execute this print statement. And according to this print statement, i is the factor of num must be printed on the screen. This means that 5 is the factor of 35 must be printed on the screen. So, we will get this message. 5 is the factor of 35. Now, after this, we need to execute this statement. This means that now this loop terminates. And we know that this is the abnormal termination. This is not the normal termination. We have encountered the break keyword. This means that this block will not be executed. Hence, we are done with this program. At this point, we are getting this output. 35 is not prime and 5 is the factor of 35. Let's say the user has entered 11. In that case, we will get 11 is prime on the screen. Because we know that the for loop in that case will terminate normally. And this means that the else block will be executed and hence we will get 11 is prime on the screen. I hope this idea and this program is completely clear. Now we are ready to execute this program in Visual Studio Code. And now let's verify the results that we will get from this program. I have opened the Python work folder and within this Python work folder, I have created this file check for prime.py and within this file, I have written the same code which we have seen in the presentation. Now, let's execute this code. Let's open the terminal and now let's type this command python then white space then the name of this file followed by .py extension. Let's type this now. Let's hit enter. Let's enter an integer now. Let's say 35. Let's hit enter again. We are getting 35 is not prime and 5 is the factor of 35, which is correct. Now, let's execute this command once again. This time, let's provide 7. Let's hit enter. We are getting 7 is prime on the screen, which is correct. Now, let's execute this command once again. This time, let's enter a negative value. Let's enter minus 56. Here we are getting this message minus 56 is not prime, which is correct. This means that this statement is executed at this point in time. Now let's execute this command once again. This time let's enter a bigger value. Let's enter 123. Here it is saying that 123 is not prime. 3 is the factor of 123, which is correct. I hope with this it is clear that this program is working correctly and hence we are done with this program. Now let's get back to our presentation. So we have executed this program in Visual Studio Code. Now we are done with this topic that is special program check for prime number and this means that we are done with this presentation. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.